Here's how to enable cookies on your iPhone. Now, whether you're on your iPhone using Safari, Google Chrome, whatever it may be, I'm gonna walk you through the steps to enable cookies. Sometimes you get to a website and it basically says you need to enable cookies for it to work properly. I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna head into your settings here. And then we're gonna scroll down until we get to Safari and tap on Safari. Now, of course, if you use Google Chrome, you're just gonna basically go into your settings and then Google Chrome instead, but I tend to use Safari, so I'll show you how to enable the cookies in there. Now, let's scroll down and keep going. Now, it used to be that it basically had a button that said either toggle on to block all cookies or toggle it off to enable cookies. It no longer says that and probably because most people didn't necessarily understand what cookies meant and what it does. But now what they call it is prevent cross-site tracking. So if I turn that on to prevent that cross-site tracking, basically what cookies do is they install a small file on your phone, your computer, whatever, and then they can track your progress as you go to different websites. That's how Facebook basically advertised those new pair of shoes, even though you looked at them on a website that wasn't on Facebook. Basically, all you have to do is toggle, toggle that off to allow that cross-site tracking, aka cookies. So by toggling that off, you're allowing cookies and now I would recommend just closing out everything, closing out of Safari or any website, and then just reloading it. So go to google.com or whatever website you were on before. Now that you've enabled those cookies by refreshing it, it'll allow that website to download those cookies on your device. And that website should be working as normal. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next one.